The OnePlus One is a self-proclaimed flagship killer, and it is a very attractive phone. OnePlus is doing a really good job of coming out with custom cases and different backs. I got to check out a bamboo cover when I was in Shenzhen just a few weeks ago. But what if you don't want to wait for OnePlus to come out with new backs and covers for your smartphone? What's on Amazon? I picked up three cases that are all pretty nice. Let's take a look. So let's start off with the nicest case. It is by KW Mobile. Comes a little screen cleaner, piece of foam. The the feel of the of the pleather on this is really nice and soft. The stitching's quite nice. And there's a little magnet there to keep it close. So let's pop the one plus one in and see how it fits. Very nice. So as you can see, it fits quite well. There's room there for the USB to be plugged in. The speakers are accessible. Uh, the magnet's really good. There on the back, we have the microphone even has a little hole on it. Yeah, overall, the case feels very, very premium. Yeah, so you have two spots for your cards in here and another little back area there. Now, if we want to consume some media, it has a very good angle to it, though this is kind of in the way. Let's see if we can put that back. So you can kind of tuck that away. Very nice premium feel. Let's take a look at the connection on the back here. Yeah, it looks really good. The only thing that I would wish for this is that if this bit here wasn't a glossy plastic. The cutouts for the buttons could be a little more angled. They feel a bit sharp when you kind of put your, your thumb on them, like there's a bit too much drop where it's not graduated just enough. Uh, it's a small detail, but it's a detail nevertheless. Now, if cases with a front cover aren't your thing, you save has a really interesting one. It's a bumper, but it kind of has this rain drop finish, so they're actually like super, it's like raised. It's not like super glue because you can't really get it off. It looks like it's actually a part of the case, which is pretty cool. Now if we take a much closer look, the thumb feel and the indentation is nicely designed. This is a little bit rough. It feels kind of sharp just there. But if we look at the detailing, there's a microphone opening right there. And in around the bottom, they've left room for your USB charger to be plugged in. Really nice hand feel to the case. It does have a plasticky feel in your hand and it is rather glossy, but when you're kind of playing around with it, the, the effect on it is really, really quite nice. All these cases are around 15 to 20 bucks on Amazon right now. So this comes with a screen protector, a cleaning cloth, and there's even a little uh, sim eject tool. The fit on this case is really tight. Wow. <laughs> so if we take a closer look at the finish, it has kind of a faux leather feel to it. Taking a look at the side here, there, it has a very nice thumb feel. It's not too deep and the, the, in, the inside plastic actually has a very nice molded look to it. The final finish of the case doesn't feel as premium as, it, as I think it could. But they have some great attention to detail, like here for the additional microphone. If we take a look around the bottom, they even have a little sculpted bit for when you plug in your USB. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a little bit of research as to why they have this opening here. There's possibly an app or a setting within OnePlus that will allow you to open it up. So which case was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, why don't you subscribe to our channel because every subscriber does help. I'm your host, Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.